Okay, AP Calculus AB, Related Rates, problem number 13. Find the rate of change of the distance between the origin and a moving point on the graph of y equals x squared plus 1 if dx dt is equal to 2 centimeters per second. Okay, so we need kind of here is two equations. The equation I see that's not as obvious is this distance equation. So if you'll remember, distance, I think we can agree distance is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, isn't it? And what this is, this is just Pythagorean theorem rewritten, isn't it? So this is just Pythagorean theorem rewritten. The other equation that we have, we're going to need two, is the one that they give us. And the one that they give us is that, whoops, is that y is equal to x squared plus 1. So all I'm going to do is combine the two equations. So I'm going to say that our function distance is equal to x squared plus y squared, right? And where I'm going to get my y is right here. This is y. It says y is this value. So it's x squared plus 1, right? He, um, also, just while we're talking about this, you kind of have to gather stuff up and, and keep it together. So I'm just reminding myself right here that I'm going to have to come back and use that in a little bit here, right? So if you don't mind, I'm going to simplify that equation on top. And I don't really have time to do it with you here, but it's x squared plus. And if you take x squared plus 1 squared, if you take that out, then what you'll get is x to the fourth plus 2x squared right there, plus 1, right? So 2x squared, so you get x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1. And I hear myself pluralizing this, but I'm, so I'm trying to keep track of some stuff. So from here, I'm going to simplify this even more, and I'm going to say this is actually x to the fourth. x squared plus 2x squared is 3x squared, isn't it? Plus 1, and it's to the 1 half power, isn't it? Okay. So what I'm looking for now is, right, I want to take the derivative of this thing, right, I want to take, I want to find right, a distance in regard to time, right? So I take this, I'm going to use chain rule here, right? We're going to use the chain rule. And if you remember the chain rule, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of the outside, aren't we? Take the derivative of the outside. The derivative of the outside is one half the stuff in the middle, right? I'm going to decrement the exponent by 1, so 1 half minus 1 is negative 2. And remember, right, from there, I'm going to put all the stuff back in here. x to the 4th plus 3x squared plus 1, right, times the derivative of the inside. And the derivative of the inside is 4x cubed, 4x cubed, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 6x. And, of course, we know the first derivative of 1 is 0, so we don't have to do anything with that. So far, so good? <clears throat> so this, I'm just going to start building this thing out. Remembering that we have that piece up there, right? We have this piece up here, that dx dt is equal to 2. So just bring this along, dx dt is equal to 2. Just reminding myself of that. I'm going to start putting this thing where it goes. So I'm going to do this. T is equal to one half, right? All of this stuff up here goes to the bottom, doesn't it? X to the fourth plus three x squared plus one, right? This goes at the top, doesn't it? So four x cubed plus six x. I'm gonna factor this top piece out a little bit, right? So what I'm looking at right now is this, you guys. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this 4, and I'm looking at this 6, and the greatest common factor is 2. And then if you wonder why I bother doing that, because I have a 2 down here. I'm like, you know what, I'm going to kill a couple of birds here. So I have 2 times 2x cubed plus 6, oops, sorry, plus 3, right? Plus 3x, right? 3x. If you wanted to, you could factor out that x also, I guess. I'm not going to because it's not, frankly, it's not convenient for me. So I'm, I mean, I'm not going to get anything out of it, so why bother taking it out of there? Um, all over 
x to the fourth plus 3x squared plus 1. Right? And all I'm doing is cleaning this crap up. So this is still this, isn't it? And finally, we get this. We get... What did we just do? 2x cubed plus 3x all over x to the fourth plus 3x squared plus 1. But remember, we're going to multiply the whole thing by this dx dt. So 2, so it all kind of goes back to where it started, doesn't it? doesn't look very pretty, but that's my explanation of why it happened. So I'm multiplying by that piece right there. And we go back to, right, we go back to 4x cubed plus 6x all over. Oh, this looks like a one half. That's what happened there. This looks like a one half, right? So all of this stuff back here plus 3x squared plus 1. And if you want, we'll put it back under the radical. And there's your answer. All right, so not easy. This is just one more of them to, to take in. And I think um, as you look at more and more, it just becomes a lot more obvious. So I, I ask you to just hang in there with it and keep working on these related rates problems, okay?